Welcome to the Better Human Podcast. I'm your host, Colin Stucker. Five-ish minutes to help you become a better human. Think better, live better, act better. Betterment through action, that's what we're all about here. Today's topic is the success loop. How to become successful, happy, rich, free, sexy, WTF, whatever you want, mofo, just do it. That's what the success loop is. It's quite literally the foundation of becoming successful at anything. What is a success loop? Very, very simple. For whatever reason, most people ignore it or they don't really consciously think about it. I don't know why it is. It's just kind of crazy, but it is what it is. Let's go back way, way back to when you were a child. My son is about to turn one in about a month. Oh yeah, next month actually. He has yet to start walking, but he does grab onto things and he does this thing where he tests his legs out. He's uh, he, he dances sometimes and he shakes. He's trying to figure out how to get his legs working. And what does he do a lot of the time? He falls on his ass, his face, his arms, his shoulders, his back, etc. He falls. Can I sit him down and have a conversation or put on a video for him and teach him how to walk? I mean, yeah, I guess I could. I could do everything I could to try to explain to him how to walk, why he should want to, what the biomechanics are, everything. Let's just assume he was an adult Benjamin Button style in a baby's body. And he's like, oh, wow, yeah, t- okay, I totally get it. I think I got this now. And then he stands up and he goes to take that first step and he very likely is going to fall on his face. Now, why am I talking to you about this? This is a ridiculous example because this is quite literally the only way, yes, the only way that you can build a successful life. You have to go out there and take that first step and it's, statistically likely that you're going to fall or stumble or at least get some feedback about maybe that hurt. Maybe that wasn't the right direction to go in. So maybe I'm going to go this direction or maybe it hurts a little bit, but this is exactly what I'm supposed to do. So I'm going to take another step and I'm going to take another step. And every step I take, I get feedback from what's going on, what actions I'm taking, what the world is saying, what people are saying, et cetera. I get feedback from reality that I then compute to my brain and I learn. The success loop is learning. Learning is trying things and then them failing and then learning and then going again and then ideally making better actions based on what you learned and then evolutionarily keep going up and up and up and up ideally up and up and up and up yet for some reason in our perfect manicured culture in the age of social media in the age of everyone we think is staring at us and judging us people have this idea that you're supposed to like somehow take that first step know how to take that first step not fall not stumble And then the next step is supposed to be perfect again and then perfect again. And basically to build a successful life, people think if they get the right amount of information or talk to the right person or this or that, or follow the right blueprint that they will then take steps and get success without any pain, without any learning, without any failure. It's batshit crazy. I don't know what people really think. And I don't think most people actually think about it. They don't actually think about what is success. What is a successful life? What is learning? And how does all this connect? Because building a successful life, even if you're giving all the money on the planet, if you're giving all the money on the planet and you grow up with a silver spoon in your mouth, you have to then figure out what to do with yourself. You have to find contentment and fulfillment and purpose, right? I a lot of times feel bad for kids that grow up in prosperity because they don't have the really painful things. Generally, they don't have the really painful things that help you appreciate life and find meaning and purpose. And there's the duality. You look into Taoism, you study any philosophy. Without black, you can't have white. Without night, you can't have day. Without hardship, you can't have joy or the opposite of hardship. Without discontentment and really struggling, you can't have fulfillment. Without struggle, you can't appreciate success the way most people define it, which is I earn something and I build something myself. Most people think it's just about the end result, just having money or power, or whatever. That's all that matters. No, it literally is not all that matters at all. It's exactly connected to what you had to do to get it because what you had to do is the flip side. It's the thing that generates the appreciation. The success loop applies to everything in your life. If you want to get better at anything, you have to learn and fail and go and try. This is why they've done research. Video games, especially early games like Super Mario Brothers that I played, Sega Genesis, etc. A lot of these games are really freaking hard actually. And you play this game and then you lose And then you maybe get a little bit better for the next level and you kind of learn how to keep trying. It quite literally develops a growth mindset because you make the connection that every jump, dodge, duck, 
fireball that you engage in in this game on this level will either provide a positive outcome where you beat the boss and you get to the next level or you'll die and you'll be stuck. It's a perfect analogy for life. Life is the same exact thing. And kids that played video games generally are good at a lot of the things that adults are. I was, I was a big gamer. I played 14 to 16 hours a day, like some days loaded the entire day, would not get off my computer. Age of Empires 2, that was my game. One of the, I was one of the top deathmatch players on the planet. I still play this day, actually. It's amazing, 20 years later. I credit so much of that desire to get better at that game and to, to win and the competition and the mastery that comes with it and the, even the mental control that you need when you're losing or you're on a losing streak and things like that, or you make mistakes and you have to be honest with yourself. Like, yeah, I made a mistake there. I need to learn. I need a better strategy. I need to play faster, play this, do that. I need to, like, even to this day I'm playing and I'm still one of the top death players in the world. And there's like a very small community of people that play. And there's things that I do that I know I do out of habit that I want to not do. And I get better. So I'm always trying to learn. Even to this day, I'm trying to learn to get better. 20 years of playing some game. I'm trying to learn to get better. This is why I talk about the growth mindset so much is so important because the growth mindset is one in which you make the connection to agency and action, like what you do and the result you get. Fixed mindset simply says, I'm not good or I'm not this or whatever. And it removes all the agency. So you don't even try. You don't even try to get better. And generally people that are, have a negative mindset are also fixed or a victim mindset, fixed mindset. Growth mindset, generally optimistic, generally positive because you have to be, you have to have faith. You gotta go out there and do shit and you're gonna have to get dirty and, and it's gonna be painful. And then you get better and you evolve and you evolve and you evolve. And over time, you eventually realize that everything in your life is your fault for better or worse. Everything in your life is your fault. And you take full responsibility for it. It's nobody else's responsibility or fault or anything. And it's the most empowering thing that you can have. And everybody that is self-made, and I don't mean money just, right? I mean self-made happy, self-made fulfilled, self-made money, self-made this, whatever it is, they have accepted responsibility for their results. They have a growth mindset because you have to if you're focused on improving something. Without a growth mindset, you would believe that there's no hope because you're just not good at this thing. It's fixed. Why would you play a game and try to get better? It's not good at the game, so don't even try. Growth mindset is integral for building anything. The success loop is the foundation of doing anything, building anything, and creating an amazing life of happiness, fulfillment, and success. There is nothing else that can replace this. There's no way around this. This is one of those first principles. It's like math. It's like one plus one equals two or physics or gravity. These things are constant. I highly recommend studying Taoism, look into Wu Wei, action through inaction. Understand the duality, positive, negative uh, forces, life. It, it's, I think philosophy is one of the most underrated subjects. And I think specifically Stoicism, Taoism, and I mean, everything, all, Socrates, Aristotle, just, just study all of it. Nietzsche, Schopenhauer, Schopenheimer, Hauer, just study all of it. These ideas have been wrestled with for thousands of years because they are first principles. Like when you really get down to the core of how to live a good life, how to be successful, et cetera, it's a lot of the same stuff. It's a lot of the things that humans have been struggling with since the dawn of civilization. All right. So that's going to be it for today's show. Get on the Better Human newsletter, call in that coach, subscribe if you're on uh, iTunes, Google, Spotify, and also on YouTube. I'm putting these all up on YouTube. So if you want to see my notes and my face and you want to be on YouTube, I hope you join me and I'll see you in the next one.